Hi right, guys, West Coast Records. Uh, just gonna open up my package I got for Tarantula Canada. Just arrived. Uh, if you noticed on the last video, if you watched it, uh, it was just a short video on my Exoterra um, uh, coconut fiber brick, which is right now right there. And it soaked up all the water. So I'll have to break that apart later. But I do have some here on the table, if you can see there on the right. Um, but I tried to find my bigger hard drive, and I, well not hard drive, but disc, and it uh, turned out to be the same size one I already had, in the, which is a 32 gig. I thought it was a 64. Uh, for the price of it, I'm surprised. Anyway, I, I thought I grabbed the 64. So I'm going to have to go back down and get another one. And the lid seems a bit warm. I'm hoping there's a heat pack in here. Okay, I've got, uh, let's do the surprise ones first. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have to take these out first. I've got the Vishna and I Dominic Republic. I don't know if you can see those. Um, I'll pull that straight. These are very small files. Uh, Pecan Cerides. I got an extra one there. Uh, just uh, because I wanted to have four. I'm starting to go with four of each instead of three. I'll probably do like just uh, whatever I have three of now. I'll just order extra ones as I go on. Another Ishnikol and I Dominic Republic. Another Ishnikol and I Dominic Republic. Um, that'll have, give me four in my collection. Lazidora Pera Habana, that gives me four. Uh, B Vagans, that gives me four. Uh, Brachypelma Verdezis. And I got uh, here two Lazidor Difficilis, so that gives me four of those. Um, and I only got, there's a B Verdezis. Brachypelma verdezis, another Brachypelma verdezis, and Lazidora um, parahibana, I think that's a freebie. And packing paper, oh, there is a heat pack. It's still warm, it was on the bottom. Which is good, I mean, heat rises, so these are kind of stuck in there. I have a hard time getting these out. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just pull these out, and they all look alive. Monstrous little critters. I'll let you take a boo at them all together there. Check those little buggers out. Isn't that awesome? Asian forest scorpions, uh, heteropelma, no, I can't remember the scientific name offhand. Anyway, three of these all look lively. So, they are quite cold. Um, Them out. This one's all right. It might have got, might have broke its tail. Open this one up. 
Could be just the, uh, I really don't have anything to put this in. Quite lively. At the moment, my daughter's downtown getting me some, uh, some of the big containers to put these in. They don't want to get stung. Right on there, it kind of looks funny on the last joint of the tail there. I'll pop this one open. And hopefully. Looks lively. And this one looks lively, but I'm really concerned about that. So let's see about getting them out of there. And we'll get them together. Looks to be working, so I think he's fine. I don't want him biting down on this wood. I would really like him to come off of here. Just uh, get down there. You can see on the camera. Well, if I get bit or stung, that's a uh, this might give me some views, right? <laughs> the lengths people go on YouTube to get views. No, I don't want to get bit or stung. No, thank you. No, I had emperor scorpions when I was younger. Um, back in the day, in the 1980s. Probably about 85. And uh, it was much larger than this guy, I'd say. Yeah, he was bigger. A good inch. He was a nice big boy, and I I actually uh, got a bit of a sting off of that one. It didn't really hurt much. Kind of swell up a little bit, but I don't think I got a full out sting from it. So he's just not one to come out. Wants to clean on that, so you know what? I'm just gonna let him. Just gonna let him cling on that. Let's see if we can get him upright, though. Now I can take a look at that tail. I think it. Uh, I think it's okay. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, it looks okay. <clears throat> it's just cartilage I'm looking at. Looked like it in the container. It kind of looked like it was uh, it was broken. So we're gonna leave him in there. Come on now, give me some room. Get this guy out. Get him to just walk right out of there. You got to be careful with these guys. They're quicker than they look. This one looks a tad bit smaller. As far as the pedipop go, which are the claws. Okay. Alright, 
Don't bite the steel, thank you. Okay, he's upside down there, that's fine. Majority of this junk under here. I'm just gonna find something to toss it in. There we go. You come off there. Thank you. See that there? Now the fun part: getting them to go. Oh, you can go right down in there. Thank you. This claw's broken. Side. So what I'll do is I'll take a bit of this newspaper here. Just kind of nudge him in there. As he's on the plastic, he just slides. So perfect. <coughs> really want to get a good look at these and see if I have a male or a female. I ordered three, so I'm bound to, bound to come up with one out of the bunch. I'm going to put blue on here and be enthusiastic and say that that's a male. And red for the other two. And whoops, that they're tweezers but nope. Let's get this one out of here. Deal with the big guys first and then we'll go with the easy ones. Just gonna get this out of the road. This one looks a bit smaller too. But that's okay. when you tickle their belly I see. Sniff one away, still got this cold. So that's awesome. The house is nice and warm so they'll warm up in here. And once that uh, Once that Eco Earth is finished doing its thing, it'll be nice and warm, and I'll set them up an enclosure. With that, for now, I'm still trying to hunt down some sand. Uh, I'm just trying to remember what all I ordered. Okay, these are all here. One of these is a replacement, so awesome. Thank you very much, Trenchville Canada. Uh, now I can actually get these guys hopefully to grow. The bee wagons I ordered one of. El Perio Havana I ordered one of. And the Peak and Sincerities I ordered one of. So there, there, there. Yeah, so they gave me an extra El Perio Havana freebie. So five now. Now, if one of those is not a female, I'll be really surprised. I'm hoping these beaver desis will, uh, none of them will die on me. I want to get those opened up. I really don't have anything to put them in right now. Like I said, my daughter's on a run. She's going downtown to get me some things. I do have containers upstairs 
but for right now they're going to go back into these containers um, provided they're small enough to go back into these containers so let's start with the easiest uh, Uberdesi Bracapelma has always seem to seem to be easy as far as taking out I don't know if you can even see that it's alright just moving you so these are about three quarter inch very much alive looks a lot like the Baggins right now Let's see if we can get them to go in there Let me go back in here little guy oh, you don't want to be in there you've been in there for two days I promise you I'm going to get you a nice little home. So you're big enough to go into one of the bigger houses. I need to get him in there a little further before I put the lid on. Look at that on there. I'm just going to lay it on its side. <coughs> Since they're a little bit bigger, you guys are just going all over the place. Cool. It's been so long since I've had a scorpion, and I've wanted to get one, and I thought this this order, you know, since the shipping, they got me uh, most of my shipping back because of the last one had a DOA, and it was a day late. Uh, so it was Canada Post's fault that the DOA happened. Um, all the rest were fine. So I'm, I'm sure if it would have got here on time, it would have been, every one of them would have been fine. Uh, well, you never know. Somebody might have been kicking it around and shipping. Who knows? Not that that happens. Right? <laughs> right. That's why they call it going postal. Oh, wow. Um, what was this? Lazador Pear Hibana. Okay, well, guys, um, <laughs> thanks very much, Tarantula Canada. I've got two of these. <laughs> I don't know if these are both El Pear Hibana or not. As you can see, there's two of them. That's not a molt. They're both moving. And these are quarter inch. Holy cow, they're small. I think these are more... Yeah, they're about a quarter of an inch, I guess. Now, I was not prepared for that. So, um, I'm going to have to run up and get another container. And put one of these guys in it. So, let's just leave that guy there. I'm taking this guy upstairs with me. I'll be right back. I'm going to get him a little container to put him in. Okay, uh, I took El Parahibana's threes lid off his thing because they're just sitting there. 
I know which one it is, so it's not going to get mixed up. Alright, he's climb on my finger. I'm going to make sure there is no more in there. I guess I should really be checking these. I don't know, maybe she just forgot she had put one in there. If you watch my first unboxing, I almost put... Um, one of my other teas into one that I just put into a contemporary container. Um, so there's two El Parahibana, I'm assuming. They just hatched, so I'm, uh, they must be, because I know they just had a batch hatch. Ha. Box and a socks, says the fox. So let's see if there's even one in here. If there's not, then there it is over there. Uh, she just put it in the wrong one. Nope, there is one in here. Um, anyway, so I got two freebies. And it's great that they're just... Uh, I'm assuming these are second in star. They're so small. So, I'm assuming she just forgot that she had put that one in there, which is fine. I mean, at this size, chances are they're not going to eat each other unless they're really, really hungry. And being in shipping, they're probably just going to huddle together like they do when they're babies. This is not just guy enough to the hairs on there. They even got that little tarantula walk at this size. So cool. So that's awesome. Um, thank you very much, Amanda. <clears throat> now, I really don't mind if you uh, doubled up on all of these. So we're going with the, the bee wagons. This is the extra one I bought um, because I wanted four. The other three are doing awesome. They're growing so fast, so I want another one of these. They just look beautiful, beautiful species. Great eaters. Uh, this should be three-quarter inch. This should be actually from the same batch uh, that mine are from, I'm assuming. Uh, maybe they're from a different one. This one's actually quite a lot smaller, so they might be from a different, different batch altogether. Because that is tiny. Mine are like that now, at least. You know, mine are close to two inches. This is three quarter inch. Maybe, maybe an inch if you stretch her out. You know, I don't think quite an inch, but close. You gonna go in there? You gonna flick hairs at me? Now, also, I feed mine a lot, so. I, I'm really trying to get the rate gro growth of the uh, the growth rate up uh, quickly. I want uh, I want to get out of that danger zone. Whereas when they're young, they're more prone to die. So I'm feeding them well, and uh, they're growing quite quickly. <clears throat> Just trying to walk around in here. What do you see, huh? You want to say hi to everybody? Look at that. He takes up the entire critter keeper. That's a good four or five inches stretched out. Probably four inches um, from mouth to tail, tail tip. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love those. This guy's just sitting here chilling. It still looks like there's something wrong with his tail. 
It looks like it got bent. I hope it didn't break. Those ones' tails are, uh, uh, we'll see. It seemed to be working, so I'll take a good close look at it over underneath the magnifying glass later when I got my work lights with me. Uh, Colonai, Dominic Republic. You guys are going last, sorry. Uh, Peak Inserities, let's do you next. Love this species. This is uh, supposed to be three quarter inch as well. Beautiful. Very much alive. Very lively. Um, has all of its legs. Go on, back in there. Thank you. Such a good spider. And, uh, beaver desis. Wait a minute. That's the bee wagons. Peak and Beaver Desis. Ha, huh, I did open one up. So I thought that first one was the Bee Baggins, I think. I'm not sure. I guess it'll show in the video. Make sure there's nothing else in here. It's a good thing I spotted that. If it was stuck in a wrinkle somewhere, I wouldn't have seen that second one, and I would assume there was only one and throwing that out. Um, so just goes to show guys always check inside the wrinkles uh, check inside the box check everywhere because a lot of these companies are prone to to giving out freebies um, especially the the well-known ones uh, the ones with good reputations they'll give out uh, you know free slings when you when you buy a few um, sometimes even if you buy one they'll give out a freebie so make sure you check the box don't just throw out the wrapper once you've gotten all your teas out that you've expected make sure you check through but don't be disappointed if you didn't get one and this load I actually got two freebies I'm gonna have to phone Amanda and thank her or send her an email at least I know she's pretty busy so I'll probably just get I'll probably just send her an email and uh, with a link to the video, she can watch it herself. Sorry, just watching those scorpions. <clears throat> Making sure they're not doing anything to harm themselves. This is another be this is the last beaver dizzies. I should have ordered four of these. I never even thought. I, it probably would have fit in there too. There was, I think there was room for another one. So Yeah, absolutely gorgeous little guy. You wanna come out for a little walk? Kinda of shy, skittish. Not skittish. Just kind of shy, I think. Let's come out under my hand there. It's nice and warm. <coughs> Beautiful little guys. Can't really see them in there, but sorry, the lighting's kind of low right now. It's Dark and gloomy outside. That's why the curtains are drawn. Let's get you in there. 
this seems to work the best I just touch them with the you know this paintbrush has little bristles that stick out and I just touch them with those they tend to want to walk oh, oh I think this one's liking the warmth uh, I, I don't think I should probably t I was gonna take out another one and just let them sit there but I better not all I need is a little mini mini spider fight on my hand or squish the little guy when I'm trying to pull it out and it darts so we'll get him in there it's warm in the house so the beaver desis put them over here they're all marked on the lids anyway I love that peak in what is this guy? this must be my vagans yeah this is my vagans but he looks kinda of brown A lot different colored than the other ones. <clears throat> Maybe I got a color morph. That'd be cool. Uh, you know what? These guys are so small, so delicate. I don't even want to take them out. I'm gonna do these two first. These will be quick. Lazidor difficilis. Um. When I got my first shipment, I mistakenly uh, was cleaning out its cage, took its hide out, uh, was checking on it, and when it when I lifted the hide out, fell on my hand here. I didn't even notice it was there, and I was looking around for it and I couldn't find it. And I put the hide back in, and I was looking around, looking around, thought it was on the lid of the enclosure and it wasn't and I actually had the enclosure in my hand and I went to get a better grip on it and I moved and the spider had crawled up my hand to here and I moved my hand and grasped the thing and, and I actually squeezed it underneath here and it wasn't enough to really kill it but it kind of rolled when I let go it rolled his abdomen and then he fell to the floor about four feet so I'm not sure what if it was the fall or me rolling it in my hand. I think it was the roll that actually did it um, because I'm putting pressure down to grasp it. Um, and I twisted its abdomen uh, and it kind of partially came off. I thought it would might survive, but it never it lasted about 12 hours and finally passed. So I'm getting replacements now. Uh, I did have, I do have two upstairs still, so I've got two more here, and um, that one's actually awesome right here. This one looks pretty good. They're actually pretty decent size, so I like that, and I got a great price on them. Tarantula Canada is an awesome place to go for teas, so if you live in Canada, I really highly suggest going there. I recommend them 100%. They're awesome to deal with. Um, very professional and very good at their uh, live arrival guarantee, which is seven days. So if it dies within seven days of you receiving it, um, they'll replace it. I mean, you have to pay the shipping again, but they'll still replace it. Um, this one here, I don't know if that's like a piece of a molt. Not sure. Can't get it off there now. Make sure he's got all of his legs. And he does. It's not missing anything. Pedipalp there, so that must be just a piece of molt out of the cage that it came from. And this one almost looks like he's in pre molt. I'm glad he didn't molt when he. He was in shipping. Uh, almost certain death to teas that molt when they're shipping. They're just too fragile. They can't handle the, the bouncing around and the pounding they take during shipping. <clears throat> okay, that one's 
legs are all out of the way. Make sure he's on the bottom before I snap that shut. Okay, what about the little guys? These guys are going to probably be around this big. Little itty bitty guys. I don't know if you, how well you can see that. That is so small. It's a quarter of an inch. That, that would be probably considered an eighth of an inch. That one. Uh, although it is probably leg stretch out easily a quarter of an inch, you know, it's close to a centimeter. Oh, these guys are bigger. Not that much, but they are bigger. Which is good. I'm glad. Much easier to care for that way. These are a, a more of a lean type tarantula. They're almost spider looking and they just turn into this iridescent blue when they're adults that's it there very hard to get them to eat on camera very hard to get them to eat period uh, not a beginner tea I wouldn't suggest these as beginner teas for anybody um, intermediate to um, advanced at this size for sure at a larger size probably intermediate maybe maybe beginner you know at a larger size I, well I don't know but definitely intermediate You're just raring to get out of there, are you? Very much alive. Looks like it has all its legs. Wish I could see that blue come out already. <clears throat> these are these are from the same batch, I'm assuming. As my one upstairs. I I only have one left. I ordered three. One died in shipping and the other one died in a molt um, in my care that was uh, uh, it wasn't really my fault I think it was more his fault he kinda burrowed himself into a tight little burrow and basically twisted his abdomen off somehow I have no idea how he parted from his abdomen during a molt I've never seen that before and never heard of it but literally he had no abdomen was still kind of moving around but he had no abdomen and eventually he died so I lost that one um, so it just goes to show you if you really have to watch and I suggest if they burrow themselves in and their burrow is um, maybe caving in on them or they've it's too tight of a burrow and you notice that and there's you know you you need to make sure that they've got enough room to molt and turn over after they molted you know they may be able to turn over fine while they're while they're before they molt while they're still hardened but after they molt when they're soft if they don't have enough room that's what could happen they could lose their abdomen they could harm themselves and die um, so good idea to keep an eye on them and if you have to redo their enclosure you know that is so cool you see that underneath there now I have to familiarize myself with all the scientific stuff on on scorpions when I was raising all this stuff there was no scientific names you went by you know it was not a Brachypelma smithy, it was a an orange kneed tarantula or red kneed tarantula. You never seen them with the scientific names at all. It just didn't happen. Not back then. And there was no information. There was no internet. Um, so you couldn't just look it up. And the books they had were just garbage. I think there was a... Uh, a video I did back 
a while back and it uh, a couple months ago I showed one of the books that, that are from the 80s that I had when I was young and it's like reading a Dr. Seuss book it had it was absolutely no help at all and half the information now that's in there is just garbage it's useless it's it's wrong information so yeah I'm I'm relearning everything I've got a lot of experience with these animals um, been dealing with arachnids all my life um, reptiles of all different types I've had reptiles that that were in movies um, but I've never, um, gotten into the scientific stuff of that. Never. Anyway, that's that. The shipping came, and it's good. Everything's awesome. They're all alive. Just gonna unplug this. It'll probably make a noise. No, it didn't make a noise. <clears throat> So there is uh, eight, twelve, thirteen T's and three scorpions. And that thing has pretty much sucked up all the water. So I'm going to break that apart. I'm also going to get this and start filling up uh, some containers and rehouse them all. I'll do an update video, video later on. Um, until then, you all have a great day. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye for now.